All right, just going to do a video showing more easy scriptures, four this time, four easy scriptures that refute the Calvinistic false doctrine of limited atonement and showing that Jesus Christ did in fact die for the whole world, not just for the elect, as the Calvinists and even a lot of the hyper-Calvinists who will even say that God predestines people for hell as well. Uh, insan it's insanity really when you really get down to it the god of calvinism is a false god but here's four easy scriptures that refute their heresy john chapter 1 verse 7 to 9 the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe he was not that light but was sent to bear the to bear witness of that light that 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 was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world not good at reading on a computer but notice that lighting lighteth every man all men you know it says in verse 7 there it, it, it's plain and simple english but of course calvinism just like any cult they just don't accept plain and simple english of the word of god because that's what every false prophet does first john chapter 4 verse number 14 and we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world or sorry i i, I i'm sorry john calvin would have said the elect so i guess i should go with john calvin instead of the word of God instead of the Apostle John. You see, Calvinism is a cult when you really get down to it. Uh, John chapter 4, verse number 42. And said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the elect. No, the Savior of the world. That's what the verse says. Okay, you can't get any more clear than that. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse number 19 apparently world does not mean world to the calvinist it just means apparently it means the elect in john calvin's uh and, and I'll, I'll call i'll say it this way the jcv the john calvin version uh second corinthians chapter 5 verse 19 to wit that god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation it's that simple you see, the Word of God is just plain and simple. Anyone can read it. If you're born again, you have the Holy Spirit of God. Obviously, you need that to understand God's Word. But even even a, a little ch a little child could read these verses and say, yes, "Yeah, Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world." You know, it's that simple. But any any cult leader would like to twist things and make it complicated and make it seem like there's some kind of hidden message or some kind of enigma that you just can't understand unless you listen to John Calvin or unless you listen to John Piper or Paul Washer or any of the other guys, what James White you know uh westboro baptist you name it you know it's again a cult that's what calvinism is so don't be deceived by calvinism may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.